please take a seat. I just wanted to explain a bit where uh, Ernestus is coming from. You did a, a your first picture film was called Sasha was here in 2019 and was selected to premiere at the Black Knights Film Festival in Tallinn and uh, was picked up also for wide domestic release in 2019 as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is your second feature film. Yes, it is. And uh, I have to say that I, I'm really impressed by the the whole, um, especially the the choice of your actors. Uh, I mean, Gabia Sureite. Yes. Uh, uh, she's fantastic in this role because it's it's very difficult, I think, to represent and to uh, also play. Um, I mean, you play a lot with the visuals as well, and this comes a bit maybe from your commercial background. No, basically it was like, you know, we were looking for the metaphors, we, just, uh, we didn't want it to, uh, you know, it's really hard to explain and maybe I didn't uh, made it very well to, you know, explaining the world of panic or world of anxiety. Uh, let's say I have friends who experience the panic world and actually that's a very, I don't know, a harsh feeling or a harsh living. But uh, what I got from them uh, uh, was uh, they are all the time laughing at, the, at themselves, you know, when they're calling uh, ambulance for the second time. And, uh, you know, whenever doctors come in, suddenly they become healthy and nice and there is no panic. I'm not dying anymore. You know? <laughs> so uh, I took, uh, and since I don't uh, experience this kind of feelings, but I have friends, I wanted to try to understand how uh, how can I tell a story that would affect me, you know? So basically we used metaphors, you know, and uh, yeah. So what was the, the first inspiration for this film? Where, where did the, the first idea came from? We wanted to talk about, you know, somehow we are living in the world, in the fast world, that we want to achieve lots of things. So we, we're aiming for lots of things. We have these high expectations, and sometimes, you know, when we live in the in our families, uh, somehow uh, we put the ground for this. You know, you need to you need to be number one. Then you're going to be loved. You know, this is uh, subconsciously. But uh, somehow we wanted to talk about the the, the world we are living now, and uh, this is a small part of the world, actually. And somehow uh, those great achievements, uh, I'm not saying all the time this is the case, but sometimes those great achievements are just because you want to show to somebody else that, look at me, um, am I good enough, you know, and I am good enough. And uh, we're, we're fighting for this, we're fighting for the right to, to be loved <laughs> one way or another. And then the fact that, you know, we were just discussing before um, the, the film that you, you really decided to focus on a woman, but not only one woman, you actually chose four generations, yeah. because there is a, a grandmother, a mother, a daughter, yeah. and also a, a niece. Yes. So, yeah, so it's like four different generations, different stories. So how do you work on this? Uh, that's, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I really love working with actors, I really love, and uh, I had a great chance, uh, no, I'm man, so for me it was always interesting, uh, you know, I'm interested, you know, how they would project, how they would see, you know, how generation goes from, uh, from uh, the older to the youngest, uh, actually this is a good question, why women, <laughs> maybe because I love them. <laughs> That's also a very good reply. <laughs> because then, then said this that you know got four great women. Yeah. Um, I had to say that the men in your in your film are just uh, you know yeah. they don't they you yeah. know yeah <laughs> they don't really look that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe it's a bit more you know classy. <laughs> yeah, especially Paulius, I, I think he's the one that, you know, it's the first macho role that I've seen in a long time in film. You know? <laughs> uh, but he is a very great guy. He's really a <laughs> lovely actor, seriously. I mean, we, we discuss a lot of things, you know, and uh, no, he was nice.
<laughs> no, it's so hard to say. I think, you know, what I wanted to present is society. I didn't, didn't want it to go into like a woman or man's world. What I didn't want it to do is, uh, you know, to raise my thing and say, oh, look, guys, this is the way it needs to be, or this is right, or this is wrong, because, you know, it's, it's not always everything is right or wrong, you know, we are somewhere in the middle, you know. And yes, this is the life we are living, yes, uh, we want to achieve lots of things. And uh, uh, maybe the goal was to say that uh, sometimes we need to skip this uh, thing like uh, uh, high expectations. We just need to, you know, be okay with ourselves, you know, no matter what, uh, who we are, no matter are we, you know, men or women or nice or not nice, <laughs> as long as we're loved. It's yeah. No, in fact. Yeah. No, I think the, the the yeah the whole film could be really about this. You know, the high expectations, especially career-wise. You know, yes. like you know, she got in trouble because she was just striving to be the best, striving to be the best scientist, and improve that probably to her mom or in a man world. In a man world. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. This is another thing. You know, I think uh, personally, my personal opinion. I think uh, uh, now it's changing a lot, but. Uh, I think it's a bit harder to be a woman uh, that want to achieve uh, a lot of things and be, at least feel, think that uh, I want to be equal. Uh, no, maybe I'm not very, very right, but I think this is what I think. You know. So it's not that nice from my perspective. Yeah, but that's world. <laughs> And, and coming back instead to the the um, all the nightmares because they were really you know were haunting dreams. Um, so you use the the Greek tragedy trick, right? I mean you, this this group of black yeah. people just you know so the, yeah that, that's that's pretty interesting you know to because they they appear everywhere. So yes, uh, we we just uh, I don't know if we, I did it well, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to present, you know, like uh, faceless uh, things, uh, not humans, but faceless uh, mm, I don't know, you know, sometimes you have on one shoulder angel and another shoulder the devil, so I think the devil side of, uh, of, uh, of us and uh, yeah. But anyway, again, I really think that it's, it's a very full of images, full of visual, you know, it's, it's like, you know, you really get the point to even, you know, you, you don't need to have like, a, a, you know, many explanation, you just get to the point right okay. away. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So, which is a great compliment. Just, uh, made a point then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if, if we want to, we want to open up a little bit questions to the public. Uh, yes, we got one here. I saw two themes and I'm wondering what your reaction is to my reaction. Uh, I saw a person in a mental health crisis and I saw the society and the system completely failing her and I saw a huge dose of sexism that she experienced not only as a mentally uh, a person suffering mental challenges but just as a woman she was constantly abused by the family by her husband um, I totally hated the husband I wanted to physically go punch him mm. he was just I'll call him too he was just <laughs> Borderline rapist, you know. So, um, what's your reaction about my reaction that I saw these two huge themes? Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I agree with you regarding this. Uh, the sexualism was uh, it was like a heavy topic, you know, uh, because at one point it was like, okay, I'm gonna give you give my body to, uh, from a woman's perspective, we're going to give you a body uh, just because uh, we used to do that and maybe it's like a credit card paying for, uh, I'm not talking about his intentions, I'm, about, I'm talking about uh, the main, main hero intentions, it's like, you know, like uh, everyday life, you know, oh, this is, needs to be that way, you know, because uh, this abuse, uh, it was like uh, a topic without, uh, without like a, without uh, like a question. It's like it just needs to be like that, you know. We just uh, took it as, as a, const a constanta, 
as a like as a metaphor for the no, not a metaphor but as a constant for the relationship uh, as if, as if uh, maybe maybe a bit naive or stupid as if you know okay there's a woman there is a man and if you are like a husband or wife or maybe okay not husband or wife but as a couple you know if I want sex uh, then I have to get it now uh, simple as that um, so she would uh, she would be okay to to live with those rules just because she wants to be loved subconsciously so that was the idea of why she is uh, like that basically basically, uh, basically if you're gonna go in all this anxiety world and the panic attacks world uh, if you're gonna go deep and uh, understand and uh, just dig it so yes we're talking about subconscious subconscious love this is that you don't see, you don't understand, you just, don't, you just know that you need to achieve something, you need to do this or that or that, just because, you know, somehow somebody else will gonna say, oh, yeah, now you're good enough. You know. So, and, and this uh, again goes uh, to this the anxiety world and panic world, uh, what, we were, what we were reading a lot and discussing a lot, it's like, you know, you, you don't understand what you are doing. You don't understand how you're feeling. You don't understand why you're doing this thing. But the panic is just like a, a red alarm button, just, uh, just hitting you, you know, you unexpectedly. And uh, this hit, this alarm just says, you know, hey man, hey woman, something that you're doing in this life is wrong. So you need just, at least you need to open up uh, for yourself and at least you need to learn to say to yourself that yes you are good enough um, and one thing that i i'm not quite sure how to how to ask this but um it was clearly about her panic attacks and these um, mental breakdowns she had but when you were working with your friends and, and understanding how it how it happens I've never seen anything like this before. So, how much did you dramatize these panic attacks, or how much, how close were those um, images um, to the the explanations your friends gave you? Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, so basically, maybe you you asking like about, about this uh, metaphoric world, uh, the ma ma magic how, of the how how deep. How, how deep you went for drama and to, to um, dramatize it, um, how close it was to the panic attack that was described to you, you know, the, the imagination of that person who's had the attack. Uh, we actually did uh, quite a big research, uh, and as I said, it's so hard to describe what you feel. Basically, what you feel, you feel like dying. Mm. This, is, this is the number one thing. And then uh, you feel squeezed, you feel like pushed, you feel, you, uh, the, the worst thing with the panics, uh, what is happening is this uh, panic circle. You start, at some point, you're gonna start uh, being scared of what will gonna happen. So you're in this huge, huge circle that you're, you just got relieved and then you start feeling this uh, heartbeat uh, and uh, pressure on the on your heart and uh, it was really hard uh, for me to understand you know how to tell it visually so let's say in this uh, corn fields where we were discussing you know like you know oh you are lost in the in the how do you call it? this thing uh, labyrinth the labyrinth yeah, yeah the field yeah, yeah, then uh, um, ducks, and I don't know. <laughs> no, ducks was the, like a metaphor for the. But it worked uh, very well with the, as you said, as you described. It has this, it had, yeah, yeah, the squeezing. Not being able to get out. Yes, yeah, so thank you. It was, I thought it was brilliant, and I was and, terrified. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> and ducks actually, oh, that was another story. We were ordering ducks from China, <laughs> and because it the, the was impossible to get them. And uh, and they were late, <laughs> and they were, we were starting shooting, and we still didn't get, got those uh, ducks. Back.
like that. And it was really, really hard for my heart <laughs> to explode them. We had oh. one shot to do this. We had seven of them. Five got exploded, and two others, they are in my uh, father's uh, country home now, uh, <laughs> sitting in the winter, and I really hope we're going to put uh, enough of air and glue them for the next summer. <laughs> okay, my turn. Hi, Ernesto. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you in London. Good to see you also. <laughs> Um, congratulations, first of all, with your second feature. Thank you. It is very strong. Um, I saw your first feature as well, Sasha, and you do talk about very strong subjects, very important subjects. So my question is, what is um, another subject you would like, you are interested in, would like to talk, and maybe to make a movie? Freedom. 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 Uh, Self-freedom. Uh, the way I can feel free and the way, what, you know, what is freedom in general? Uh, you know, I think this is the topic. And usually freedom leads to the very bad things. I mean, if you, let's say, take musicians, you know, we have this uh, uh, group of 27th. Jim Morrison, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix. So basically, you know, uh, what I was thinking, you know, they were like free to do whatever they want. Of course, there was a huge part of the drugs, but uh, this is a big price, I think, to pay. And I'm thinking, is it worth it? But still, I want to be free, you know, to do what I want to do. And this is primal screen. <laughs> is this Thank a project you. you're working on for your no, next No, no, this is just my mind, because uh, what you asked, uh, this is for the future. And uh, now I'm, we just uh, just uh, finished up uh, five episodes of new TV series in Lithuania, which will be the first TV series in Lithuania, with, uh, you call me this uh, like, uh, high drama. So I'm still working another month. Uh, what, what kind of theme uh, is it, uh, the TV series? Uh, it's about um, revenge. 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 It's called Troll Farm. It's about uh, this computer uh, trolls that uh, can invent uh, people that are not existing and the way those people that are not existing can put their mark on the existing world. Lots of imagination and fantasy yeah, to yeah. create that. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I think we got, yeah, we got like the last question. Uh, so, sorry, sorry, we are out of time. Oh, we are out of time. Oh, sorry. So, but, but the good thing is that we can go in, in a, you know, and continue. If anybody wants to ask questions or, you know, or chat with the director, we can go in the lounge and continue anyway over there. So, it's just... Uh, just a short word. Uh, I, I just really wanted to say thank you for you to come, that you came here and saw the film. Thank you. Thank you.